Hey everybody, it's Wendy, welcome. Today we are gonna make part of this fabulous card. Basically, I just wanna show you how to make this big tall tree using the spooky fun framelits. Okay, so these framelits that you get make this really, really cool tree and you see it's very short to the ground. Well, I really wanted to make a tall tree and so I could have two different tree sizes in my card. So I wanna show you how to do that. We're not gonna do the whole card today. I'm just gonna show you how to put together um, or create this, this tree. So you have to do some partial die cutting in order to create this look. And what you're gonna do is you're definitely gonna to wanna to use the precision plate. You're gonna use your multi-platform, multi-purpose platform. I'm not sure what it's called. The regular platform that comes with the big shot and one clear plate you're going to place your clear plate just at the very top i did this wrong so you're going to do it at the very top of your tree so that the only part you're die cutting is the top of this tree you don't want to cut past this the trunk piece of the tree and you can see it takes a little finagling it would have been easier if i put uh, some post-it note tape on that die but I just didn't have it next to me. So I'm running this through the Big Shot, and when I do, I see right when it comes out the other side that it didn't quite get one little branch on the tree. So I just moved my clear plate down and I ran it right back through. Now when you see this die come off, you're gonna see that just the very top of this tree has been cut. So the bottom portion of the tree has not been. So now I'm gonna take the die and I'm going to line it up with those tree trunks and simply move the die down further, but keeping the trunk on the die in line with the trunk that has been cut above. So it's not perfect, but it's close. And so that's what we want. Now I'm only going to cut the bottom part of this die by putting my clear cutting plate just over the bottom of the die, not the top part of it. So this will create the base or the foundation of my tree. So here comes the fun part. We're going to remove the die and we're going to use our scissors to get extra fancy here. So you can see now the bottom portion of this die has been cut, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with your paper snips and I highly recommend having a good pair of scissors like paper snips to do this and I'm gonna kind of pull down on the piece that I wanna cut away, and I'm gonna simply slip my scissors into uh, the paper here, and I'm gonna run my scissors up to meet where the trunk was cut at the top. So what happens is I'm now creating my own tree trunk. Now the tree trunk's trunk is fairly skinny, which is fine because this is a Halloween-y creepy tree anyway, so it's totally fine. I definitely thought of Tim Burton when I cut this tree out because it kind of reminded me of a Tim Burton tree. And now I have a really tall, creepy, spooky little tree. I love it. Isn't that fun? So simple and just really extends the use of that die. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other leftover piece of cardstock here. By the way, this cardstock is basic black cardstock and it's cut at four and an eighth or four inches wide. Now I'm gonna die cut a regular tree out of this die cut the way it was intended to be cut. And you'll see the difference in the height of the trees because I really wanna show you that. I also wanna show you one more trick on what you can do once you get these cut out. Okay, so I've cut out the tree now, the smaller tree, and I'm going to carefully peel away uh, my die cut so I don't rip any branches. And you can see it just pops right out of the paper. That's one of the things I absolutely love about this precision plate. If you need a precision plate for your Big Shot, you can purchase it from me in my online store. And the link to the supply list for this card is posted below this video. It's a link to my blog. Okay, so now you can see the difference in the tree sizes and you could either put them next to each other this way or my preference was to flip the smaller one over 
And now I have a tree moving in the different direction and I can either line them up like this or I can scoot this little tree out and then just trim it off of the edge of my card. It's really whatever you prefer. Um, you could cut a whole nother tree that's like a medium size like that so that you had three different trees or you can make them look like bushes. There's so many options. So this is how my card turned out. I did a watercolor background and then added some other pieces of that die cut set and that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see other videos from me, you can click on either of the images that you see here and watch those videos. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Just click on my little face and you'll subscribe. And I hope you have a fantastic day and you enjoyed this tip. Bye-bye.